In our everyday lives on the ground, we use optical fibers for really high-speed communication, and that capability has been adapted for use in space near Earth. DSOC stands for Deep Space Optical Communications, which is using lasers to communicate at high rate, and the application of that to deep space beyond the moon is what the DSOC project is about. Primary objective is to give future NASA missions the tools for returning data at much higher rates. The signals travel at the speed of light, so they come just as fast as they do for the microwaves, but you could send more data in the same time of a pass for the same spacecraft resources. The notion of being able to communicate, to have video to astronauts on Mars is actually part of the vision that NASA has for optical communications. DSOC consists of a flight terminal that flies on the Psyche spacecraft and then a ground network that has a, a station for transmitting up to the spacecraft and then receiving the laser signal down from the spacecraft. Here we have to send a laser beam from Earth that the spacecraft has to receive, use as a pointing reference, and then initiate the communication link. So it's a very flight and ground joined at the hip kind of telecommunication system. DSOC is being implemented as a technology demonstration to show that we know how to build terminals that can do this with the idea that in the future they can be flown as part of the operational communication system on future missions. And we designed the terminal to operate out to about Mars' farthest distance. And Psyche on its cruise actually does a Mars flyby, so it's an excellent vehicle for the demonstration of deep space optical communication. DSOC is the first time that there'll be uh, optical communication demonstrated beyond the moon. The leap that DSOC is taking is huge. I can't express in words, you know, what this will mean to actually see bits that were transmitted from deep space spacecraft received on the ground and we can verify that, hey, we got the bits that you sent, here they are. Before that moment of elation and joy, you know, there's a lot of work that we still need to do and think through. And so this is a stepping stone for a future operational capability that NASA is committed to. There's a lot of activity in space and a lot of collaborative work that goes on, and it's very exciting to be part of.